Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and on this episode I'm gonna teach you how to make the easy beef and broccoli. You don't need that take hour, it's so easy, it's fast, it's fresh. You don't wanna miss this episode, it's only 20 minutes and, or less and you have your dinner ready. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe with that like, share this video. Let's get started guys. So say it with me, you're gonna tap those takeout menus out. No more takeout, guys, because this meal is the best. It's easy, beef and broccoli. It's guaranteed to be so, so tasty. I love the tanginess, I love the sweet, tasty feeling of broccoli with beef stew. So to get started, I'm going to show you the ingredients I have. It's so, so easy and so, so tasty. So let's see our ingredients. So for our ingredients, you'll need three tablespoons of cornstarch and then uh, meat, some steak for you. You cut it into pieces, uh, maybe one pound of steak, that's okay. And then um, a half a cup of soy sauce. Uh, I'll tell you why it goes really well with the broccoli and then three tablespoons of brown sugar one tablespoon of garlic one tablespoon of ginger and then only for this meal you only need two tablespoons of vegetable oil and of course you can have three broccoli florets you can have as many as you want and then of course some onions you can either have white onions or Red onions guys so let's get started it's so so easy wow this dish is so flavorful I love it because it's so so easy to make and my family loves love loves these beef stew with broccoli so first of all the first thing you need to do is uh, uh, measure two tablespoons of cornstarch and uh, three tablespoons of water then you mix that tablespoon mix that nicely Toast combine, combine nicely. See how it looks once you combine nicely. So now what we're gonna do is in a separate small bowl, we're gonna whisk together the remaining one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then we're gonna add this with the soy sauce, and then we're gonna add some brown sugar and some garlic and ginger, and then. We're gonna set the sauce aside and then you're gonna start preparing our meat so what you're gonna do is mix all this together in one bowl I'm gonna mix some cornstarch that's our one tablespoon of cornstarch making our sauce of garlic one tablespoon of garlic So what we're gonna do now is heat a large non-stick uh, pan of a medium heat and then we're gonna add just one tablespoon of oil and then once it's hot we're gonna put our beef and cook and then we're gonna stir it until the beef is like uh, almost cooked through yes 
and then you're gonna transfer it and set aside. It's that easy. So that is done. Look at that. Amazing. So, so simple. I love this savory dish because it goes well with rice so what I've done is I've boiled some rice to go on the side so as that is cooking I'm gonna work on my beef so what you're gonna do is uh, put one tablespoon of oil in our so you keep stirring over medium heat until your meat is done you know it's fresh and then the taste is so authentic savory that's the word so I'm going to show you how to cut your broccoli what I do is after washing it I remove the, the leaves like this so I put it upside down like this it's very easy to do it what I do it's so easy to cut your broccoli so what I do is I invert it like this put it upside down and then I remove the leaves is first the leaves and then make sure your knife is sharp so I remove the leaves first once that is done uh, I normally branch them like this I cut them depending on the size of the frolets you want you can cut like that so I normally branch them at the end like that because I love mine that size if you like longer ones what you do is you cut uh, a bit higher like this and you have a big one like this one but I love this size so I'll cut mine uh, at the end like this so you just continue cutting like this the reason why you do like this is when you, you're avoiding like to have so many particles of of the broccoli here because they, they tend to when you don't cut it properly you'll have small particles falling all over so you cut it like this and it's easier so you go around like that like a circle circular like that you keep going you see the size amazing like that nicely you turn it have your frolets like that so if they are too big what I normally do is I just cut like that into half I just separate them like that my kids love broccoli so I just cut them like that it's too big You know, there are those people who like it, <laughs> eating the, the stem, this one, it's okay, but I don't, I don't actually like cook it myself, so, but if you want it, you can eat it, it's no problem, as long as, because it makes actually very, very nice stew, and you know how to make it well, so I'm going to cut the leaves first. Like 
go round. It's very very easy to cut it. It's very easy to cut it. Some people are telling me, oh Caroline, can you show us how to cut your broccoli? I don't know how to cut mine. It's that easy. And you can actually eat this. You just need to like just chop all this and then you cut it into like circular disc and then you just put it in your soup. It really brings makes really nice soup. So I'm gonna cut this into half because I, I don't want really big ones because of my kids. <laughs> Just like them tiny. Mm. But it's a really, really nice dish. You're gonna love it. So try it. Don't say you don't like it. It's really, really healthy. If I tell you the benefits of broccoli, you go buy it right now. It's a lot. Yes, a lot, a lot. So make sure your knife is sharp so that it's so easy to cut the pieces. Then you just go around like this. That's very easy. You cut until the last broccoli look at these frolets they look amazing look at that That's the last one I think this is small so I'm just gonna cut this one this one cut them into two like that yeah and I have a whole plate of broccoli Amazing, they look amazing. So, someone asked why broccoli. The reason why I started maybe making broccoli for my family is because I discovered the benefits. Number one, it helps in immune boosting, even for your kids. You know, maybe they have low immunity. This is a very, very nice vegetable to include in their foods. It's also a high power for antioxidants. Yes, it has it prevents cancer, uh, reduces cholesterol levels, so it's really really nice. So include that broccoli in your food. It's good in heart and bone health. It's actually good for dieting. Something else, guys. I care anti aging. We we'll have that broccoli, guys. Let's continue the final product. I can't wait to taste this. So what we're gonna do is fry this. So we're gonna put our last one tablespoon of oil on on a pan and then we're gonna put our broccoli and our onions together and then you're gonna put our meat and our sauce and you're good to go wow our meat is done so what i've done is i put it in a plate because we're gonna use the same pan to fry our broccoli so for our remaining one tablespoon of oil we're gonna put it on the pan like this so to retain this green color, what I normally do is I put boiling water on my broccoli like this. It retains the color. That is before putting it into the hot pan. So you just put it in hot water like this. Like that. You can see even the green color is uh, sprouting out. Very, very hot boiling water. I'm gonna drain this immediately. drain this so we're gonna drain this make sure all the water is out it retains that green green color it looks amazing i like it so once the 
the oil is hot you can see it's so green and like it looks amazing yes so we're gonna put it in our hot oil so once the oil is hot put our broccoli so once our oil is hot we put our broccoli and our sliced onion look at that amazing So we're gonna stir this seasonally. We're gonna cook this for uh, about four minutes. You can see how this the green color has just come about. I love this green. So green like that. that the sauce can thicken we want the sauce to thicken slightly for just one minute and your food is done voila look at that so easy goes really well 
So tasty. So yummy. And the meat is also tender. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So what is best, what is amazing about this dish is the broccoli is so, so sweet. So your kids will definitely love it. And this is the deal breaker for you guys. Try this amazing meal. Follow my recipe step by step and then let me know how it turned out and how your family loved it. I love, I always love your feedback. It's been an amazing episode. Yeah, making this amazing, easy beef with broccoli. <laughs> so stay tuned. If you've not subscribed, give me that subscription, give me that like, share this video. Yes, that's it from me, guys. Bye.